Evolving the festivals of a home test, not the most regular sort of thing around, but how does it feel out there today? <laughs> Not used to that at all, actually. Um, no, it felt pretty good. Obviously, the nature of the pitch, it's starting to slow down a lot. Um, still, you know, it's a bit of toil out there for the boys. Um, coming up, second innings, it's going to be a, a bit of a challenge. Um, but, yeah, it's just what we, what we spoke about, was just trying to build that pressure for long periods of time, and it's going to be no different next innings. Before this series, Gary called you the best spinner in New Zealand. I don't know if you saw that, or maybe you had that message yourself internally. But do you take a lot of confidence from having that backing? Yeah, it's obviously nice to hear. <laughs> um, I think just off, off, off recent performances, not necessarily red ball, but the, in white ball, the balls feels like it's been coming out pretty well. Um, World Cup was nice, I guess, when there's some spinning wickets. We don't tend to get that too often in New Zealand, which is annoying. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, you know, still got to do a job out there with, I guess, Usually first innings here, it's kind of back up the big boys, kind of dot up an end and let, their, let them do their thing. And, and then I guess second innings out here might be different, but I think it's still going to be very flat um, and we're just going to have to bash away for a long period of time. Um, you, know, you had a long run inside when you first came in. Um, last time before to so now that you had a consistent run was sort of late 2019. Do you sort of think you know, this position now, especially with you look ahead this year, a lot of tests, a lot of tests in Asia? This is a real chance to have, I guess, a, a fair act of your, your test career. Yeah, I guess, um, yeah, usually in the home summer it's one spinner or that kind of all-rounder role, but I, I mean, I guess we'll see what happens in the rest of this kind of summer, but looking forward, it's it's nice to have a, you know, uh, a consistent test series in the subcontinent we've got. I think there's six games, so it'd be nice, you know, as a spin unit to go there and, and try apply our, our craft. Um, Bangladesh was, was good. We spoke a lot, you know, good chats and whoever, you know, might be three or four spinners, whoever goes, but it'll be a, a good opportunity to, to get really get stuck in and, um, you know, bowl some overs. Obviously you've played two tests in a row now, but, you know, going in that period, I guess, back from 2019 to last year, you, know, you had a couple of offs, Pakistan out here, but have there been things you've been trying to work on, trying to improve as a, as a red ball bowler? Yeah, I guess just for me, I felt like I was kind of getting too quick at the crease and getting a bit long, and it was kind of, I guess that's through, I guess, a lot of white ball bowling. Um, but I've kind of gone the other way now and trying to, you know, give it a rip again, a little bit slower to the crease and kind of, you know, get my momentum from, from the crease. So that's what I tried to do in the World Cup, and there was some favourable pitches, which was nice, um, and that's kind of, I guess, flowed into to my red ball bowling. Mitchell, is there any with in that regard, like I know CSK with Jadeja, is there anyone you've spent time? Yeah, I guess kind of going around the circuit. Um, you know, is always there. He's slightly different where he just kind of tries to bowl quick into the wicket and, and let it do its thing, where, you know, in India, especially in Chennai, that's kind of all you have to do. Um, and then you kind of go to some pitches where bounce, you might get more bounce and try to go over the top a little bit more. I think we spoke, you know, with obviously Jurgo was still there at the World Cup, but as a as a spin unit, me, Glenn and and Ish and Rutchen in the World Cup, that pitches were changing, um, and you know the, the style of bowling was different depending on where you went. So that kind of all those conversations kind of, and it's the same out here. Like kind of that overspin was getting a bit of bounce today in the first innings, and then second innings it might be more that kind of square seam a little bit faster might might hold. So. And then those kind of messages get relayed back to to the other boys involved as well. In this instance, is it a case of almost being able to translate what you learned in the white ball to the red, back into the red ball? Because your consistency and your varying your pace with your, your line of length is just so accurate out there today. But what is how it felt? <laughs> Yeah, I guess it was. That's all I tried to do. I guess do in, in India uh, throughout the World Cup, and I guess it's no different out here. I mean. Usually first innings here when it's flat, you're kind of doing a roll. It might be just kind of fast on a good length and let the other boys do their thing at the other end. But I guess it is nice to see it turn a little bit where you can kind of play around with, you know, position on the crease, seam, um, slightly changes of pace. And so that was nice. Obviously, the mount is, you know, traditionally a little bit slower than where we're going to go from now on, I guess, mount and, st uh, and Hamilton as well. So it might be slightly different there or it might be... Six seamers. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
chance to, to play against you know, a team like Australia as, as the world champions and, and to be able to put those skills into effect there? Yeah, I guess we'll wait and see. Traditionally, you know, the wickets are a lot more bouncy and a lot, a lot more seam friendly, you know, from where we go from here. So, you know, if, that, if, if I do get the chance, I'll relish it. And if not, uh, I'll wait till the subcontinent next time. <laughs> Just touching on play overall, Andrew obviously mentioned Pakistan and England, but um, also going back to last season, playing for Northern District here, you took eight wickets in the match, made 100 in that game. Um, contributing to a big win for Northern Districts. Um, is there something about Bayo or something about this venue that sort of gives you confidence or do you enjoy bowling here? Uh, I can spin, which is nice. No, it's, I guess, you know, as a spinner, you kind of look around the country and we're most likely going to enjoy a pitch. Um, and, and here it, it, it can do that, which is nice. Um, I guess the games we've played, it has spun. Uh, Pakistan, England. Um, but usually, obviously, later in the game, I think it'll be the same again. I might do it a little bit more tomorrow, day five, maybe a little bit more, but you know, it usually slows down a lot in nature where it's more of a grind to kind of get your wickets, and it's, it was the same in those Northern Districts games as well. So um, wait and see. Hopefully the, the big boys can knock a couple off the top and we'll come in after. Sorry, I was going to say, one just last thing for me, in terms of touching the World Cup, in terms of some adjustments made there, but in that pocket of Red Bull cricket for Northern Districts last season, which obviously is... Something that you haven't been able to necessarily have in the last few seasons. How helpful was that for you to actually get a few punch shield games under Belgium, get that time playing and punch shield? Yeah, I think it was, it was, you know, pretty important. I mean, playing a lot of white ball, you know, you're bowling's 10 overs, four overs a lot of the time um, to get, you know, kind of find my kind of red ball bowling again. It's, you know, it's always a challenge to come back and. And obviously, I still like to play a lot of red ball, but with the schedule and, and international cricket on during the time, it can be challenging. So I guess to get that opportunity last year was was nice. Um, bold, probably more overs than I would have liked in those two games at the end. But yeah, it was nice to kind of get that understanding of bowling for a long period of time. On you know trying to hit one spot with the odd change of pace um, versus white ball, where you're looking at the batter, seeing what he's trying to do, changing up a lot. Where um, yeah, that kind of consistency factor is, you know, pretty important. What were um, kind of the motivations behind having another bat today? Were you guys having much discussion about that at lunch, or was it always just kind of a straightforward decision which one to do? Yeah, I don't think it was as straightforward. Um, it's above my pay grade, um, but yeah, I think it was kind of give the give the big boys a bit of a rest and then see if this wicket, you know, slows down or cracks up a little bit more. You know, the later later we go, so. Um, no doubt we've got two days to, to bowl coming up um, and then, yes, hopefully it starts to play some tricks. Cool. Sweet. Sweet.